Welcome to the MLB The Show 24 Franchise Prequel Series. Hope you guys are ready for another year of MLB The Show Franchise. We're in for a good one. Enjoy the series. This is Gary Shoemaker, one of the hardest throwing prep prospects in all of America. He's like six foot seven, six foot eight. They call him the lanky lefty. The kid's got a lot of potential. To sum up what kind of prospect he is, let me read you the opening sentence of Baseball America scouting report on him. All gas, no brakes. It's true. With a fastball that reaches, reaches the upper 90s, he still hasn't figured out how to control the strike zone. If he figures that out, he's going to be a big problem. Obviously, command is something you can develop. But scouts know once he figures that out, he could be dangerous. But who's going to take a chance on the six foot seven, six foot eight lefty? And here, he's at a perfect game showcase. All right, Gary Shoemaker gets the start today in this perfect game showcase. He is six foot eight. He's got a blazing fastball. Not a lot of high school hitters can keep up with that type of mile per hour, but we'll see what he can do versus some of the best hitters in the country as he faces Elliot Scott here leading off here for the perfect game West team. And we'll see what Shoemaker can do today. He's got a four pitch repertoire. He's got a slider and a changeup, but he's got to control that fastball. The first pitch is underway and that one is over the middle of the plate. And that is a swinging strike two as he gets ahead here in the count one, two to Elliott Scott. The pitch is on and it's a swinging strike three up in the strike zone, 98 mile an hour. And that's the type of heat that has the scouts buzzing. Anthony Ridley at the plate now, hitting in that two spot. He hits a soft ground ball up the middle, fielded by the second baseman, thrown on the first for the second out of the inning. Can Shoemaker put away this team? One, two, three here in the first. Here is George Cruz up at the plate, and that one is up above the zone, and it's ball four and a runner on first base. As here comes Daniel Anderson, the dangerous lefty here, hitting 353 here in this showcase. Low slider, it's a swinging strike three. And Shoemaker does get out of that situation. As we move on to the top of the second inning, here is Dan McCullough at the plate, hitting 375 so far. Shoemaker with a 20 pitch first inning. We'll see what he can do here as he faces McCullough. One, two count over the middle of the plate. It's a slider, fly ball down the right field line, and it will get chased down for the first out here in the second inning. But a good start nonetheless here for Shoemaker as he faces Paxton Dallas here at the plate. A 2-2 pitch, low in the zone. It's a strike three on the slider, and he's got to develop that pitch a little more, but it looks like it's working today. Now he faces Eric Frazier with a chance to put them away. One, two, three, and it's a high pop fly in the infield, and that one is surely going to be the third out of the inning, and it will be a good outing here through the first two innings so far for Shoemaker. He's expected to go four in this one, but looks good so far. Samuel Manuel to the plate here, hitting in that eight hole as Shoemaker has yet to surrender a base runner. And he gives up a hit up the middle, and he gives up his actually a second base runner of the game, his first hit surrendered of this one. And now the perfect game West showcase team has a runner on first base here with no outs. Alex Yamada to the plate. Low fastball, that's ball four. And he lets on the last two hitters in this lineup. And now the top of the order does roll over here as that brings up Elliott Scott here, 0 for 1 today. He struck out in his first step at make it two. The 98 mile an hour heater gets some swinging on that one and it's tough to keep up with such a pitch. I mean, that is just dangerous for a high school pitcher to hit 98. It's incredible. Anthony Ridley back to the plate now for one today. 54 pitches so far, and that's a swinging strike three outside changeup and gets him to chase on that one for the second out after surrendering two base runners early. 
And now with two outs, that brings up George Cruz, one of the best hitters here in this showcase. One-two pitch up in the zone. He swings at this one, and it's just a flare out to right field. And the second baseman gets under that one, and it's going to be the third out of the inning. So this is figuring to be the last inning that Shoemaker will face batters in this one, and that one will be a leadoff walk here for Daniel Anderson as he's on first base. He's not a great runner. Nonetheless, he's on, on base here as that brings up Dan McCullough to the plate. 3-2 pitch over the middle of the plate. This one's crushed deep to left field. It's gone. Shoemaker leaves a fastball right over the middle of the plate, and Dan McCullough says goodbye. And it's a two-run shot here for the perfect game West Showcase team, and they will take the 2-1 to one lead as that is the one knock on Shoemaker. He's got to learn to control that fastball. He's got to hit the corners better, and that one was left right over the middle of the plate. He's already walked a few batters in this one, and that time he gives up the first home run here in this game, and it is two to 2-1 here for the West team. Packs to Dallas at the plate now. 0 for 1 today, a 1-1 pitch over the middle of the plate, hit hard down the right side, and that one will be past the glove of the first baseman, sliding attempt that time, and it will be a single. So two straight hits for this perfect game West team as that brings up Eric Frazier to the plate now, and that's a pitch over the middle. This is driven deep to left field. This one is fair and gone. The second homer of the day, and that looks like it might be the end of Shoemaker's Day, and that one was crushed, and the kids got some learning to do. Despite a disappointing showcase, Shoemaker is still one of the more intriguing prospects going into the draft season. There are some still, there are still some things to work on, but the road to the show has never been an easy road, and for a 19-year-old kid, he's got a lot of room to grow. But 78 pitches, and he hadn't even make it, made it through four full innings, he's got some work to do. But will a team take a chance on this kid? I mean, surely, 98-mile-an-hour fastball, you got to take that chance. But who will it be?